butchered a lot. You see in gyms, you see all sorts of movements going on. Hey? Sure, just in case it's on camera and it falls. <laughs> so elbows out, elbows in. So the first thing with a deadlift, sorry with the deadlift, what I'm saying. The first thing with a bench. Oh yeah. The plates always go this way around in like in this gym. Anyone know why? I'm sure I've told you. I'm sure I've told you a few guys. No? No one actually knows the real reason. It's an old school myth. <coughs> Wait, you must know this hardcore lift, you know? So the power of the of the the strength of the plates is on the inside here, is, is obviously with the right end. So this is going into the bar. So that's going in, that's going in. Who's in the middle of the bar? Carl. <laughs> so the power goes to Carl. Okay? So when we put weights on, on the bars, make sure they're turned inwards. If you if you want a bit extra weight. <laughs> um, okay, so <laughs> first thing is how to set up for the bench. Let's have a look at Carl's setup. Everyone's going to have a different setup. Yeah. Setting up should take longer than the actual set. When you're in position, you shouldn't really be comfy. If you're comfy, then you're probably not tight enough. You can take a couple of reps, then we'll, then we'll just break it down. <coughs> okay, so let's just start off. Okay, let's have a look at a setup position. So lie down. So some guys will like to put their feet on the bench, some will just kind of shuffle it in like into position. The main thing is, is getting your weight on your upper traps. So all the weight is going to be on your upper traps. So however you get that feeling, then that will be fine. So Carl, for example, he just kind of shuffles back, don't you? Yeah. So like the old school way, I used to do like the old seats, like feet on the bench, work drop, they don't move, and so you create that heart. Yeah. And that's the easy way to build the feet market. So then he's got all his weight on here. So naturally, he'll have a curve. That's not bad for your back because you've got, because the loading's going this way, not that way. And plus, he's going to be bracing here, so he's going to be kind of, you know, be holding that spine intact. So abs are going to be tight, glutes are going to be tight. Now, his heels are off the floor, and that's totally fine. So don't think that your heels need to be on the floor. All he's going to do is push his heels down when he's doing his set. If they touch the floor, fine. If they don't, you know, you know don't worry. Like if that works for you, good. If not, then just find a position where your feet can get some leg drive out of, okay? So tension will be is all the way on his upper traps, shoulder blades pinned in tight, abs tight, glutes tight, driving the heels down. So just do that again. So a little test, I'll say a little test. You'll come up and when he starts lifting, you give him a few little yeah, whacks. When I'm So abs, solid, <laughs> legs shouldn't move that much and I'll say, say if I'm touching around here then he's got his tension through his lats as well, okay? So those kind of three things, you know, I'd say to, to, to start on. Um, make sure that you're driving through your feet as well. I think, did you put that off in here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so upper back tightness. How do we get upper, kind of, what is upper back tightness? Um, the easiest thing to, you know, to like explain this would be just a band pull apart. You know when you do like a band pull apart, everyone hold their arms out, arms out straight, pull, imagine pulling that band apart, have a slight elbow band, you know, then what do you feel in your upper back? What does it feel? The answer is tight, isn't it? Tight, that's tightness. That's, that's your back tightness. So the hard thing is, is obviously when you're benching is to try and keep that tightness. The easiest thing obviously to think of is have your chest up. So you pull the band apart, Push your chest up, keep those shoulder blades pinned in tight. So obviously when you're doing your reps, always just think shoulder blades back, shoulder blades back. Okay? Um, I guess there's no real cue to, you know, to try and encourage it. It's just being aware of that back tightness, back tightness. I mean, Jake, have you got any cues for that one? Back tightness. Yeah. Fan pull apart's a perfect one. Yeah. So like if you're if you're struggling to obviously get that tightness in between reps, bang a few kind of pull aparts. And not ones where you just bring them out. Hold. <coughs> Squeeze back, hold, squeeze back. So what muscle 
Okay, so racket there. So like hold on to the bar. What muscle is he using to try and feel for yourself? What muscle is he using to get the bar off the rack? What main muscle is he using? Think about what we've just done with the deadlift. No. No. Lats. So we're starting to realize that lats play a big part in this, don't they? Because think, like, if he's tight there, and all he's doing is just pulling it down, that's the same motion as that, isn't it? So all it is is, you know, that's your lats coming. These, some have, like, uh, like the, obviously those clips are a bit big, so, you know, so they're high, you know, on the edge of there, where, whereas these aren't too bad, so it's easy just to pull it over. Because then you can keep that back tightness and then just focus on pulling over. Yeah, so lats, again, play a big role in that. Um, we can go over that, yeah. You mentioned it now, go for it. So, another one that we started using about a year and a half ago is when you've got the bar there, you're nice and tight in the back, the heels are in, you squeeze everything else, so you pretty much feel like you're going to turn your hands. But another one to throw in there would be to. Uh, so, have a look at his elbows. Think like you're going to bend the bar, okay? So, bend the bar, the elbows come in, you stay nice and tight. So that elbow's in, is all he's doing is just rotating. So again, like everyone hold the, hold the arm straight. Imagine trying to turn your elbows down, kind of what you're kind of doing to the bar. You're gonna try and bend the bar, aren't you? Although you're not bending it, all you're doing is creating that torque and creating that tension. So when you do create that, the elbows will naturally come in more, won't they? Yeah? So that's the key one, there and in. Obviously your hands aren't gonna be like that, you're not, you're not, you're not gonna bend the bar. <laughs> Okay, so when the bar's coming down to your chest, don't think the bar's coming to you. I want you to try and think, take your chest to the bar. Okay, so that's just another way of looking at it. So don't be waiting and waiting and waiting. Think of, I'm pushing up, I'm pushing up, I'm pushing up. So like, if you're pushing your chest up, what's that gonna reinforce? Tension, where? Well, that's belly, where else? Everyone just do that, like, everyone just do that motion. What'd you feel? In your back. So yeah, there so you all go. you're doing is just reinforcing your upper back tightness, aren't you? Because you're there, you're pushing up, 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 and then you'll go, and obviously then it'll go down. A key one to this is how mobile you are in your upper back. If you're like this all the time, you know, you're not gonna get that T-spine motion. So T-spine should move what maybe 30, 40 degrees extension. If you haven't got that, then obviously you're gonna be quite flat on the bench. But if you can bend, which girls usually are awesome at bending, I'll have to put that video up. There's a video of some 12, 13 year old Russian powerlifter, and literally, she was like this. Whoosh, whoosh. Like her back was like that. Have you seen it, Jake? And she probably benched about two inches. But she was like a world record holder. Because her, her spine was like this. I'll, I'll find it, I'll, to, I'll put it out there. So on that one, think of taking your chest to the bar. Okay? Um, we kind of went over on the foot position. Let's look at yours again, Carl. So you'll see like that, you'll see some guys go wide, you'll see some guys coming real close. I'll show you mine in a minute, mine's a bit different. I'll have a look at Jake's, I'm sure Jake's will be different as well. So doing that one, there's no right or wrong. Feel where's comfortable for you. Feel where you get the most power you know, from your legs. And then lastly, push the bar fast. Um, under control on the way down, we take a little pause and then we explode up. Same as the deadlift, you've got to be pushing that as fast as you can. Think of the speed. If you're moving the bar fast, you will move it fast. Great so, cue that Sean used to give me, he used to stand over the top of me and say this over and over again. Imagine the bar strangling someone that you care about the most in the world. And all you want to do is just get it off him. By the time I left this gym, I was in tears, he said it that much to me. <laughs> just imagine that and you'll move it fast. I don't know this that kind of day. <laughs> <laughs> Explode. That's it. Explode. Even no. on your warm up reps, why would you want to move the bar fast on your warm up reps? Uh, warm up reps. So, strength is obviously lift and heavy weights, but with obviously through your muscles. What else helps to 
I'm going to word this. How, what, else, what else helps to move that weight fast? No, that's probably the wrong question. Basically, I'll just say, so when you move the weight fast, you're, you're, like, you're kind of priming your nervous system. You know, you're firing that up. So every warm-up rep, uh, weight, whatever, it's, even if it's the 5, the 10, the 60, make sure you're shifting it faster. When you come to your heavier weight, your body's ready to move it. Okay, Jake, let's just have a look at your setup. Is it any different? Did I bring my wide grip or is that the same? Yeah, yeah. do your wide grip. New ball game. Jake's trying to make things easier, so he's going for a wider grip. So that's so a wider grip shortens the range, doesn't it? <laughs> so have a look at his feet. Not too much of an arch. That's it. I'll show you mine. <laughs> so I've started using this more of a principle. I've started really trying to get the weight on the upper traps. Then I'll put my feet down. I like, I like these benches because like I squeeze into the bench, you know, with my heels. So you can try that. So squeeze in, but make sure that weight is all on the traps. And I'll really try and focus on digging us all the ways in. Hold for a split second. I'll look at the elbows. So see how I'm twisting them in? Whose was the best? <laughs> I was going to say that then. Um, who, can we have a, a volunteer? Who thinks, they've, who thinks they need a bit of work on the bench? I just want to put you under the spotlight. Rach, come on. Rach. Have a look. Let's have a look, and let's all have see what we can pick up on. Okay. Is that a bit high, that bar? Sure. So it was all the weight on your traps. Nice. Okay. Here you go. So abs tight. <laughs> tight here, please. So think bracing. Tighter. So breathe into your belly a bit more. Breathe it and then hold. That's it. Good. So leg drive. See that she's using my tip there. Feet against it. You want to try that one? It works. <laughs> Squeeze the bar tight. So what are you doing with the elbows? There we go. So that's not too bad, that is it? Go again. Just kind of one thing. You know when you're looking from the side. You want to make sure that your forearms stay vertical as well. So you can see when someone lifts, like if Rachel was to go quite high on the chest, you'll see where that, see how the angle will change to a bit more like that. So that's why we always say aim for your sternum. So when the bar comes down, your power is under your elbow, straight up. Okay, actually that was, that was good, Rachel. Okay, someone else please. Dan. Go on, Dan. Dan, look at that. Let's just put 40 on. I think you have me there. So obviously when you're training with, you know, with your partners and stuff, try and look out for the things as well. So um, sorry, I want you just to have a little feel and prod and see what you can find. How was the setup there? So, you, so where should your eyes be? Under the bar. Dan, are your eyes under the bar? No, don't move the bar back. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So as he shuffles forward, he's going to get into a better position. Come on, Dan. Come on. That's it. So create a bit more tension. Don't rush it on the way down. Elbows. So do the elbows first. So elbows, belly, heels, abs, glutes. Explode. So Dan's quite flat, isn't he? He hasn't got much of an arch at all. So that's something he can work on. So to get Dan a bit more of an arch, are you comfy there, Dan? Not especially, no. Okay. So what I'd say here to Dan is I'd say shuffle this way. Keep going. Keep going. So bring your feet back. Bring your feet back. Feet back. Keep shuffling. Okay, now his feet are in place. 
Now I'm going to say, hold the bar. Now take your eyes under the bar. We're keeping your feet where they are. So on your eyes under the bar. So see now he's really forcing that arch into position. Keep going. Good. There we, now we're getting it. Sunday morning touch. So abs, tight, tight, glutes, drive your heels down. Obviously when you press up, is that a better position? A more powerful position? Okay, pull the bar slightly this way. Breathe. Elbows, that's it. Nice. Again. Go one more. Good. Yeah, better, isn't it? Better. The hard thing to do is trying to keep that chest up throughout the reps, because what you'll do is you'll go down and you'll kind of just flatten out. So it's hard trying to keep that extension. So like a number one rule I would say is that upper back tightness is the hardest thing to practice. But if you can get that right, that's you going to stay tight all the time. Yeah? Get, get that bent out. Yeah, it is. It's just like, you know, trying to squash you in. Yeah. So there, you, you know, you might spend 10, 15 seconds to get and set up and then. Okay. Yeah. Um, any questions on that? And then we'll, we'll dive in and have a look. No? All good? Okay. Explode. A little bit lower. So as soon as you unwrap it then, all your tension disappeared. Abs. Abs. And what are you doing with your elbows? That's it. Side to side. We're right the way over. You can bend the knees, to, you know, just to give you the balance. Push that chest up. So see how they're starting to round a little bit. So like, if you ever see that, it makes me think that she's not pulling, she's always tightening up.